today i am going to solve one fluid mechanics problem that problem based on continuity equation so here is the problem water flows through a pipe ab uh, that is 1 meter in diameter at 3 meter per second and then passes through a pipe bc 1.5 meter in diameter at c the pipe branches and branch cd is 0 0.8 meter in diameter and carries one third of the flow in av the flow velocity in branch c is 2.5 meter per second find the volume rate of flow in av and the velocity in vc and the velocity in cd and diameter of c now here uh, i draw the pipe layout of this given problem so in this section I mean, so uh, okay this section that this is the ab section ab section and then uh, the diameter of ab section is given that is 1.2 meter so that is given that is given and velocity is also given and then bc section diameter is given and uh, that uh, that at c point that uh, two branches two branches of pipe actually given uh, in that layout means i draw that at c point that pipe pipe branches means one pipe is cd another is ce now in that cd pipe diameter is given and that volumetric flow rate uh, in that in the cd pipe so that is one third of qav now we have to find out what will be the now we have to find out q a v so that is number one and then we have to find out that velocity velocity at bc bc section and then we have to also find out uh, that in that cd section what will be the velocity velocity at cd section and then diameter of c section so that we have to calculate now we are considering different sections so section 1 section 2 section 3 and section 4 and in that every section we are going to calculate the volumetric flow rate so now section 1 at section section 1 that diameter is given so area is so that is a1 area is pi by 4 d1 square so that is pi by 4 into 1.2 square that will be how much 1.13 meter square now vv is given now what will be the volumetric flow rate so volumetric flow rate will be so volumetric flow rate volumetric flow rate flow rate that is at say q1 you can say qab or q1 so that is vab into a1 or aab so that is a a v we can write so that will be how much b a v is given 3 meter per second a v we got that is 1.13 meter square so ultimately so that is 3.39 meters cube per second so now q a v we got so that is q a b now in that this section one now section two now according to continuity equation according to according to continuity equation we can write we can write q a b is equal to q b c q a b uh, and q b c we know that will be b a b b c into d b c because volumetric flow rate is nothing but sorry 
that is ABC area in BC volumetric flow rate in velocity into area or area into velocity now QAB we know so that is we know 3.39 so VBC we don't know but diameter of BC section that is known so that is nothing but 5 by 4 into 1.5 meter square so from here we can calculate B B C is nothing but 4 into 3.39 divided by pi into 1.5 whole square so that will give 1.919 meter per second so now we are going to uh, section C so VBC we know and we are going to section 3 so at section 3 in that section 3 it is saying that Q CD is equal to 1 by 3 into Q AB so QCD will be 1 by 3 into QAV we know that is 3.39 3.39 okay meter cube per second so that will be 1.13 meter cube sorry yes meter cube per second so that we know now in that CD section section 3 or CD we know uh, that QCD is nothing but QCD is nothing but VCD into A into CD. So VCD is given. So we have to find out the diameter. So QCD is 1.13. VCD is given, not given. See, we have to calculate. Area is given uh, ACD. So pi by 4 into diameter. So that is 0 0.8 square so from here vcd we can calculate 1.13 into 4 divided by pi into 0 0.8 square so that is nothing but how much we'll get uh, that will be 2.5 meter per second now at section 4 at section 4 or C section okay now here uh, we, we from the continuity equation from continuity continuity equation we can write that whatever flow is coming in the BC so that will branches so Q BC volumetric flow rate is equal to Q CD plus Q C now Q BC is nothing but Q BC is equal to QAB and QCD is equal to one third of QAB. Now, if you plug all this value, so QAB is equal to one third of QAB plus QC. So that will be two third of QAB is equal to Q C now here we can also calculate Q C so now we can calculate so from here Q Q C 
is equal to two third of q a v so that is two third into three point three nine so q a v is actually three point three nine so from here we can easily get so that that is meter cube per second so from there we can calculate so that will be two point two six meter cube per second now in that in that uh, c section velocity is given so q q c e is nothing but v c e into a c e so that is uh, is nothing but 2.26 so now here from here v v c is already given so we can calculate a c a c is 2.26 divided by v c v c is v c e so that is 2.26 by 2.5 uh, meter square so from here we can easily calculate what is the ac ac is nothing but 0 0.904 meter square so now we know that ac is nothing but pi by 4 d c square is equal to 0 0.904 from here dc d c e will be 0 0.904 into 4 divided by pi tens root so from here we will get d c e is equal to nothing but 1.075 meter now if I come back here if I took this all picture and then if we plug all this value then we will get all this we got that q a b is equal to 3.39 q is equal to that is q a b is equal to 3.39 meter cube per second so this is one answer and then v b c is equal to v b c we got v b c 1.919 1.919 meter per second that is another answer and vcd is nothing but how much we got vcd vcd is 2.25 2.25 meter per second is another answer and dc that we got 1.075 meter that's the answer thank you